We turn now to item seven on the finance and the annual accounts and annual report. And I'd like to turn to Paul, please. Don't you? Yes, I won't keep you long on this. This is just a procedural item, really, to uh, recognise that since we had the detailed discussion of the accounts back in uh, the last board meeting, um, the accounts have been approved by the National Audit Office with an unqualified audit opinion, no issues to raise. Uh, they were signed by David as Chief Executive, as we'd empowered him to do at the board meeting. They've been laid before Parliament, and they were published on our website, slightly inauspiciously, on Friday the 13th of this month, <laughs> but there we go. Um, so that's all done. Um, I wasn't going to comment today on the content of the accounts, because we did those, I think, extensively at the last meeting, uh, so that's, I think, adequate. The next exciting step on the uh, path of sets of accounts is the half-year accounts will do effectively closing off this phase of our life at the end of uh, September, and those will come to the board at our November meeting, so you can look forward to that. And um, that's really all I wanted to say on accounts at this stage. Thank you, and thank you for the, I think, using the word exciting twice uh, <laughs> in, in, in that presentation. Um, so may we then turn your attention to the paper on finance and procurement controls. <laughs> How many times can you say exciting? So I, will, I will struggle to bring the word exciting into this particular part of the agenda. Uh, but again, it is just a procedure right and uh, you delegated powers from the board to a procurement uh, controls uh, subcommittee of the board uh, back in April in order to fulfil the requirements of the efficiency controls uh, set out across government. Um, what you have in front of you is just a record of the business which that, com that committee has transacted at the two meetings it's had to date. <coughs> it's there for information and I have nothing much else to say about it. Good, thank you. On the basis that... I have a question. Who are the members of that subcommittee? Um, David chairs it. Uh, I'm a member of it. Uh, Bill, you're on it, and Joe are on it. Uh, Joe is on it, I should say. Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? And yes. Ed. And Ed, of course. Sorry. Okay. Right. Thank you very much for the paper. Um, that brings us to any other business. I've had no notification of any other business other than the date of the next meeting, which will be the 20th of September, at a, at a venue as yet undisclosed, uh, because as yet undecided. Um, and um, an enormous amount of uh, care and attention will go into making that decision as soon as possible. I should also uh, indicate that um, we anticipate that there will be a further meeting on the 1st of October, which will be the first meeting of the new board, that is the commissioning board, uh, and will uh, effect the translation uh, of policies and practices and procedures from the commissioning board authority into the, into the new structure. Uh, another item of any other business is to uh, report the uh, proposal that we make two more appointments to the audit committee now that we have uh, a further uh, four non-executive directors on the board. And two of those who have agreed to serve in this capacity are Moira Gibb uh, and Nagib Kiraj. And I would ask the board, please, to approve those appointments. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, is there any other business? No, in which case I declare the meeting closed. Thank you very much.